Welcome back to the Sleepy Tie YouTube channel. I'm Rachel, the inventor and founder of Sleepy Tie. I am obsessed with my Sleepy Tie because it helps me protect for long and enhance my blowout while I sleep. Honestly, on most mornings, I wake up with perfect hair and don't need to do anything. On this particular day, I slept through a blowout. I'm on day three of my blowout and I did a really intense workout. So these little baby hairs around my face definitely need a touch up. I'm gonna show you how to do that with my favorite new hot tool that I honestly can't live without at this point. This is the Amica Thermal Round Brush and it is a game-changing product. It is basically like an iron in circular form that has a brush attached to it. It can do so many different things. It can straighten your hair, it can reduce frizz, it can do a touch-up. This product is $100, so it's a little bit of an investment into a hot tool, but I have to say it's really worth it. You can find these tools on Amazon as well for anywhere from $18 to $100. And I have to say, I have the $18 ones and I actually really like them and I think they work great. I would say the difference between the $18 round brush and this thermal iron here is that the density of this is a little bit thicker. You can tell it's a little bit higher quality. This heats up a little bit more, this thermal section here, and it has the additional little nodules here that the other ones do not have. So I would recommend this iron for sure, but again, love the $18 ones as well. So as I mentioned, I slept with my sleepy tie last night, sweat through my entire workout, and these little pieces need a touch up. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I take my hair down with my sleepy tie is just touch up these little areas. Now, the reason I really love this product for little small areas like this is because I don't wanna burn my hair and I don't wanna burn my face with a blow dryer that's getting so close to my ear. And this allows me to just kind of like run a brush through it just so they're not so frizzy. So I'll just get these baby hairs around my face and I'll get the ones back here as well before I let my hair down. Honestly, that's enough. I don't need anything more there. Now, on most days, I wake up with sleepy tie and don't even need to touch up my hair. Now, let's say I wanna change the look of my hair when I wake up. This tool is amazing for that. It can curl, it can add volume to the ends of your hair. It can do so many different things. And I'm gonna show you today how I just add a little bit of flip to my hair to get that like voluminous blowout look. Okay, so day three of my blowout, and I have not put heat on my hair since I did the original blowout. I think my hair is still in really good condition with the blowout and that is just from Sleepy Tie alone. But today I have an event and I just wanna add a little bit of a touch up, a little bit more bounce at the bottom and I'm going to use this thermal iron to do so. There's a few ways you can look at this brush. Like you could use this brush to get all the direction of your hair going under and towards your face or you could use it to go in the same direction and go away from your face. Personally, I like to have messy hair voluminous hair and I like it to be a little bit more flippy so I like to switch off which direction I'm using this brush with so let me just show you a small little chunk right here and I'm gonna start by flipping up with the iron and what's important with this iron is you have to keep it in motion you never want to be still because it could damage your hair and so what I'll do is just kind of keep repeating that motion over and over again the key is repetitive motion and look at how it flips the bottom. Not only did it just smooth the entire section, but it was so fast and so easy. Anyone can do this. I just bought this for my 86 year old grandma and she can do it. This one I'll go up to, I have a shorter layer here. So I like to kind of show that flippiness. I mean, yes. And then this section here, I'm gonna flip under towards my face. I like to take a bigger chunk here at the bottom. I would say from taking my sleepy tie down to the iron heating up to finishing this look, three minutes total. It is so fast. Look at that. It's so sleek and so chic and it just gives that flippy look that you want. Now I'm going to do a bunch of pieces through my hair just to add some flip and then we'll finish with the front pieces. I think that looks perfect. We all know that the back of our hair can just be so annoying to make sure you get all those little pieces. So sometimes I just like to kind of like use this as a hairbrush and just make sure that I got all the little sections back here and that there's no creasing. And then I can even kind of take a larger chunk and spin it from underneath to just add a little volume and a little bit of a flip. Okay. 
So I think that look, looks really good. Let's now move to the front pieces, which I try to do a little bit of a different technique. You can experiment with rotating the brush forward or backward. I personally like to rotate the brush backward so that when I let go of these pieces, they flip this way. You wanna make sure that when you're selecting the amount of hair, that it never exceeds the width of the iron, otherwise it will cause it to get knotted on the edges of the brush. So I just take my bangs here and I am going to go back away from my face and I'm just gonna keep rotating this. Again, keep it in motion. Nice, and let it go. And at first it will feel weird that they're flipped up and then you'll just readjust your bangs and it will kind of go away from your face, get that direction in place. And I just think it looks so chic and so nice. It's just a really nice, versatile tool, super easy to use, it's almost brainless, and it can just do so many different things. 10 out of 10, 100% recommend. And of course, after you're done, make sure you use your sleepy tie to add volume, to set your hair, or to protect, prolong, and enhance your blowout while you sleep. If you have any more questions about this thermal iron, why we love it, or other brands we like, please feel free to comment in the section below and we'll be happy to make more videos about this, but we just cannot recommend this enough. It is the perfect pairing with your sleepy tie. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. Thank you for watching. We love you.